Where did you get the tarts? Yeah, the Queen of Hearts. Where else? What are you doing here? Oh, I just kind of dropped in. Uh, jam? Pardon? Oh, uh, right. Um, strawberry. Care for one? Oh, 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 thanks. I thought you'd never ask. Ooh. 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 Wouldn't you know it? Ooh. Buzz off, bees. Ooh. Ooh. All right. They're yours. Oh. Come on, Norbert. There's plenty more where those came from. Oh. But stick close. You can get lost just walking through a door around here. Oh, you're telling me. Knock, knock. Anybody home? <gasps> That's weird. I don't like the look of this, Leon. Uh-oh. Where's Norbert? He'd never run off and leave Freddy lying around. Or food. True. And what about the Wiz? He was expecting us. I don't know. I think we'd better check this out. Hold it. This could be dangerous. Oh, come on, Leon. Where's your spirit of adventure? Come on, follow me. You're right, Daddy. <laughs> Is it me? <laughs> Good question. Magic, I'll bet. Well, that figures. So this is Wonder World. Oh, get serious, <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> well, where else would people live in gingerbread houses? Gingerbread? I love that stuff. <laughs> oh, hey, maybe the mailbox is gingerbread, too. <laughs> it is. Leon, mm. Leon, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Don't you know who this place belongs to? <laughs> Oh, oh. What fun! Can't remember when I ever stirred up so much gloom in one day. What well, if enough to warm a witch's heart? <laughs> I'm a mean witch. I ride the broom. tasty pair of tidbits. And what brings you to these dreary woods, may I ask? Um, um uh, we're looking for our friend Norbert. Uh, uh, have you seen him? He, he, he's a teensy mouse about this big wearing, uh... Another mouse, you say? Whoa, how yummy! I haven't been so excited about a meal since Hansel and Gretel stopped by. Oh. Don't get any ideas. We know the Wiz of Wonder. Yeah. Big deal. I can beat his magic with one hand. Well, maybe two. Time for a bite. <laughs> a little sweet music to make you sweet. <laughs> what does she mean by make us sweet? I'm not sure, but I think it's trouble. Quick, let's run. Okay. Oh, I can't. And now I must find their little friend to have for my dinner. <laughs> I 
understand. Thanks anyway, Your Majesty. Guess what, Norbert? What? The Queen of Hearts is out of tarts. Oh, well, uh, how about the three bears? Maybe they have some leftover porridge. For dessert? Oh. Doubt Zazie and Leon would go for it. Yeah. Who can I call for treats? Of course. Mm. Should have thought of her earlier. Of course. Hello, Red. Yeah, Wiz. Yeah. Fine, thanks. How are you? Mm -hmm. uh, look, I've got a problem. Mm -hmm. I'm having a few friends over for dinner. Mm -hmm. Back at the library. I don't suppose you could spare dessert? Right over. Yeah. Bye, Red. Good news, Norbert. Yeah. I'm just scooting over to Little Red Riding Hoods. Okay. Yeah. Granny wasn't hungry today, so she's giving us her basket of goodies. Look, uh, make yourself at home. Uh, why don't you take a peek at some of those storybooks? There must be one there you haven't read. Toodles. Yeah, see you, Wiz. <laughs> okay. Let's see what he's got here. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, look at this. The little red hen. Huh. Once upon a time, a cat and a dog and a mouse and a little red hen all lived together in a cozy little house. The cat liked to sleep all day on the soft couch. The dog liked to nap all day on the sunny back porch. And the mouse liked to snooze all day in the warm chair by the fireside. Yeah. <laughs> so the little red hen had to do all the housework. Oh. She cooked the meals and washed the dishes and made the beds. She swept the floor and washed the windows and mended the clothes. Whew. She raked the leaves and mowed the grass and hoed the garden. One day when she was hoeing the garden, she found some grains of wheat. Who will plant this wheat, cried the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. Each morning, the little red hen watered the wheat and pulled the weeds. Soon, the wheat pushed through the ground and began to grow tall. When the wheat was ripe, the little red hen asked, who will cut this wheat? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. When the wheat was all cut, the little red hen asked, Now, who will take this wheat to the mill to be ground into flour? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. The little red hen returned from the mill carrying a small bag of fine white flour. Who will make a cake from this fine white flour, asked the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. She gathered sticks and made a fire in the stove. Then she took milk and sugar and eggs and butter and mixed them in 